Oh, and then we're going to we're going to flip flop again as we head through the day tomorrow. The heat, the humidity are on along with a couple opportunities for showers and thunderstorms. But right now it's cloudy out there here in Connecticut. You're getting a live look at the capital city, 75 degrees, and we are socked in and locked in with the overcast skies. It looks like parts of northwestern Connecticut now Maybe trying to break for a little bit of sunshine. We'll take it. There might be a couple breaks in the overcast, at least for parts of the state. And if you do end up seeing, you know, a hint or two of sunshine, hey, consider it a bonus before the sun goes down. And I think tomorrow we start off very similar, but then we break for sun and it will turn a lot more humid and hotter out there too. Taking a look at the 24 hour temperature change. I mean, just in case you couldn't tell just by walking outside. Yeah, it's cooler than yesterday by about 20 degrees in Monroe, about 10 degrees for the Connecticut shoreline, 75 in Hartford, 74 in Thompson and right around the 70 degree mark for the New Haven area. Low temperatures tonight mostly cloudy with areas of patchy fog and low temperatures dropping down right around the 70 degree mark and heading through the day tomorrow again I think we start off very similar but we'll break for sunshine oppressively humid out there today it's humid but you know not horrible that's gonna change head through the day tomorrow mid to upper 80s inland low 80s for the Connecticut shoreline I want to show you what that looks like here in our future satellite and radar there are the clouds in the morning that's 8 a.m. noticing as we head into the afternoon we're getting those breaks of sun, but that will help kind of trigger a few showers and thunderstorms. I think there is a bigger risk for a shower or thunderstorm around and north of the I-84 corridor. And there is a risk for a strong or severe thunderstorm too. I think there's a higher risk though, north of the Nutmeg State, um, especially Northern Massachusetts up through New Hampshire. That's the area I would really target. But even if we don't get severe weather tomorrow, there is a chance for some slow moving thunderstorms. We don't really have a lot of wind in the atmosphere. So that means they could dump a lot of water on some of the towns that end up getting them. So I think that's the thing that We'll probably end up watching the closest. Still, the Storm Prediction Center has included areas right along I-84 and northwest in a marginal risk of severe weather on a five-level threat scale. That is the lowest risk. I do think they're going to end up highlighting uh, northern Massachusetts and New Hampshire tomorrow when they reevaluate that threat. Okay, for Thursday, though, we are even hotter. Temperatures right up around 90 degrees, hot, humid. Again, just like Florida, that pop up shower or thunderstorm as we head through the afternoon. Now, here's where things start to get interesting. We're watching a disturbance that could end up soaking up a lot of moisture, traveling up the East Coast and bringing us a widespread rainfall at some point Friday into Saturday. That could be accompanied by gusty winds, too. Still trying to work out the details on the exact timing and how much rainfall, but it's at least worth watching. We'll keep you posted.